Hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I don't even know what to say at this point. I am literally numb, and I don't know if it's the Cowboys sucking so bad in this game or all the alcohol that I drank. And I don't recommend drinking a whole bunch of alcohol, especially on a French dip sub with horseradish and chili with extra hot sauce. It's not a good combination. And um, the pain that I feel right now, I guess, is well-deserved because I wasn't ready. I'm, I'm, I'm not ready for the Dallas Cowboys offseason again. This feels like the 5-11, 5-11, 5-11 season, or the 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8, 8-8
CeeDee Lamb had a couple of drops early and just seemed like he was a deer caught in the headlights. You saw Dak like, what the F, dude? What the F? Dak had passes that were sailing on him. It wasn't the weather we were playing inside the, our dome stadium. But here's the thing I always say with the Cowboys. Whenever we are expected to do something is when we always fail. I don't know if you've noticed that. See, here's what you have to understand. We were expected to be the fifth seed. Nobody thought we'd be the second seed. They had written us off on that. And here it is. The Cowboys, they started feeling good. And then they went to Buffalo. And you saw them on the sidelines for the game, dancing and partying, and like, just like, like they've been anointed. That they believed that they were the team of destiny. That the Buffalo Bills were just going to roll over and bow down to the Dallas Cowboys, to them boys. And that's when they punched them in the face and they couldn't respond. Tonight, it was the same feeling. The Green Bay Packers came in there and they bullied the Cowboys. You saw a dude pushing CeeDee Lamb in the back after the play. I got no respect for you. You saw dudes tackling Micah Parsons in the backfield, right? We got no respect for you. Screw you. And the Cowboys didn't respond. They played like they were scared. They got punked in their own house in the same way the San Francisco 49ers did. Now, I don't know if getting rid of Mike McCarthy is going to be the answer. And here's the thing. Everybody, oh, you know, if you've got a solution, a real solution of how to get the Cowboys better, if that's trade Micah Parsons, if that's get rid of Dak Prescott, if that's fire Mike McCarthy, if that's get rid of Dan Quinn, if you can tell me a plan that makes this team better and gets us past the, the divisional round, I'm all ears and I'm all for it. But I just keep hearing people say, fire this guy with no other plan in place. Nothing. And I tell you what I really don't want to hear, because this, I, I woke up this morning, when I woke up this morning, went to the bathroom, I'm, you know, I, I do a lot of research on the toilet. All you old men like me, you know, that's your privacy there, okay? You know, you, you let a couple of them rip, ain't nobody bothering you there. You don't have to worry about shit. Well, no, just you do actually have to worry about shit. But you sit on the toilet, you got yourself some privacy, your private time. And that's my chance to go ahead and look at the phone and get research going. And lo and behold, what do I see? I see Micah Parsons lambasting a guy who played yesterday and talked about his effort. That you got to do better than that. And then your ass comes out here, who's supposed to be the lion, who's supposed to be one bad mother humper, bad dude. Showing up in a Bobby Boucher jersey, talking about somebody else playing like crap yesterday, and I can't look and say that you played great. You had one tackle and one assist. Bro, Micah, I love you, man. You, you, you've been doing great things. And this is where my wife asked me, she said, you know, are you still the boys? Are you still true blue? Yes, I. it's a life sentence for me. I'm too old to change from the Dallas Cowboys. I am stuck in what feels like Groundhog Day every uh, every year at this time, and I'm not ready for the off season. I'm not ready for all the trolls. I'm not ready for all the shit that I take all off season. I'm not ready for it, but unfortunately, it's that time. That team was not ready to play and acted like they were supposed to be anointed. They just didn't show up. They had no intensity. They were not the aggressor. They were playing like, excuse my language, punk ass biatches. And I wish I had the answer on how to fix it. Because I don't know. But I'm going to say this much. Everybody needs to take blame for this loss and failures in the playoffs. 
from Jerry and Stephen and Will McClay. Or, I don't know if it's Will McClay. Maybe it's Jerry and Stephen that just say, we got enough. What I see is other teams realize we can draft, we can sign free agents that help us. We draft and usually draft well. This year didn't help us a whole lot. Hopefully it will next year. Maybe Overshone comes back healthy. Maybe Schoolmaker starts getting better. And maybe Mozzie Smith, who's now lost weight, you know, you turn him into something that becomes better. Uh, you know, there's hope for next year. But what other teams understand is you can't get enough just through the draft. As much as I hate San Francisco, they go out and they got themselves a running back in Christian McCaffrey. They would go out and they would get uh, Hargrave. Hargrave from the Eagles. They go out, they get a Chase Young. They go out and constantly say, yeah, we got a lot of players, but let's collect some more to make sure that we have above and beyond. And that's one thing the Cowboys don't do. We got Stephon Gilmore later in his career. We got Brandon Cooks. And we say we're good. And the thing is, is we've known we've had problems at linebacker for several years. Leighton Van Der Esch plays well when he's healthy, but the problem is he's had a problem with his neck. Everybody knows that it's any game that sucker could go. You had an opportunity to get a guy like Bobby Wagner who wanted to come here to play with Dan Quinn two years ago. Bobby Wagner is still leading the NFL in tackles. What if you had signed that guy to take care of shoring up your linebacker partner? Instead, Cowboys, eh, we'll get some late round guys and we'll stick them in there. Eh, we'll get some journeyman linebackers. Eh, we'll sign Anthony Barr, who's coming back from an ACL. That's where the penny pinching hurts. And see, that's where you have to understand that in games like this, you need an extra layer. You need a few more guys. You need a couple of thugs. And that's a failure by Jerry Jones. So as you go in, Jerry, and you kill Mike McCarthy, as you look down and say your players suck, understand that you suck too. You suck too, Jerry. If you want a different result, you have to stop doing the same things over and over again because what you're doing is by definition insanity because you keep doing the same thing expecting a different result this game hurts man it hurts me bad it hurts that as soon as i get done with this i'm gonna go take me a shower and i'm gonna climb under the covers and pull the covers over my head and just pray that this is just a bad dream but unfortunately it's not my cowboys let me down and i apologize to each and every one of you guys for this they gotta fix this shit we as fans that live and die, and trust me, I live and die the Cowboys every single day. And every single day I look and try and find some positives about the Cowboys to make myself and you guys feel good about what they're doing. Every single day. And for us to have this much love and devotion for this team, Jerry's got to be doing every freaking thing he can to return the love and support that we give. And we just ain't getting it, bro. We're just not getting it. Yeah. Jerry, yours much to blame. Steven, yours much to blame as every player in that field. And it sucks. It sucks. Well, ain't shit we can do about it now. It's the off season. Welcome to the sofa. Welcome to the sofa. Remember, good people. Tell the people you love, you love them. You might not get a chance again. I love you guys. God willing, I'll see y'all tomorrow.